Lee Polferman's got nothing to lose. I've known this young man for a long, long time. Met him and his brother for the first time in Switzerland at the Swiss Open. And the crowd's starting to build nicely here as we head into Friday evening, the opening day of the German Darts Championships. And next up, the crowd will certainly find their voices. Max Hopp, the German teenage sensation up against the Bull, Terry Jenkins. That's next on stage. But before that, we have these two gentlemen, Mark Walsh and Lee Polferman. And a race to six legs and a place in round two with Mervyn King awaiting the winner. Well, this man, Mark Walsh, one of the toughest players in the game to beat at one time. It's had a lean 2013. Along with a lot of other players, you know, they need to, to realise what's happening and level themselves out a bit so then they've got the platform to move, move up the rankings again. But the longer it takes for you to level out, the harder it is to level out and get above the red line again. And it's happened to so many players. We've all been there. <laughs> Paul Fulman winning the nearest the ball throw to throw first. And as we've seen in a couple of the 6-5 deciding leg matches we've seen this afternoon, on this short format, winning the ball can be a real advantage to throw first in that deciding 11th leg. We saw Dick Van Dyke beat Mark Dudbridge 6-5 earlier, throwing in that deciding leg first, the Dutchman. Well, an outside chance for Polferman now. He did throw first in this, so he would expect to win the leg. But he's behind by a couple of darts, and that's not going to help his cause. So possibly six darts from here, but if Walsh has a chance, he will take the bullseye route. It will be 11 for the bullseye, or treble 11. That leaves double 14. Good effort. Walsh will have to hope that Paul Freeman can't take out this 148, which indeed he can't. 160. So double seven for Mark Walsh, which can be an awkward one. Well, it can be now, Mike, because he might overpitch this. Well, he's underpitched it. Double eight then for Paul Freeman to go with the throw and win the opening leg, and he does indeed do so eventually. That's not what you want to do in the first leg of the match. You know, Mark Walsh scored really well there, but just didn't take his chances, and this is where it shows character. And when you're playing at the top of your game, you don't worry about that. But it's when you, you know, you're not then you start to think, I can't believe I've given that away. And before you know it, you can be two legs to nil down. And a first maximum on the board for Lee Polferman. Well, we've seen Mark Dubridge hit five trebles and four in consecutive legs. Well, Lee won't hit the fourth. But he's not worried about that. It comes down below and follows the next up with a brilliant score. 
Lee's brother Joey in action later on this evening against another of the qualifiers, Rene Idams. Rene making his debut on the European Tour. So a good chance for Polfman here to break the throw and go 2 0 up on Walsh. Well, he's going to get six darts from here. So don't do anything silly with it. Well, as I've said that, he goes <laughs> and does the silly move. 25, 79. 22 left, not the best of doubles. Another treble would be handy One. for Walsh. But double 11, nine o'clock on the board. Well, Mark Walsh has got to be really careful here, Mike. As I said, he gave the first leg away. And, and I said that people who are on the slide a little bit start thinking about it too much. And before they know they're two nil down. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, although Polfman, it was a good leg. Walsh now has got to break the throw, otherwise a 3 0 down, and then the demons start coming in between those ear holes, and then it becomes even harder. A little shake of the head there from Mark Walsh. Paulfman scoring pretty well again, scoring very well again in this leg. And hitting his second maximum of the match, no less. Well, the last two legs, Paulfman scoring has been up there with the best. Nine darts again and only one and 86. Six darts minimum. And there we have the averages, Paulfman. Well over 896, and that is exceptional. And Mark Walsh, well, he, he will know more than anybody else. An experienced player knows, obviously knows how well he's playing. And he knows the pressure is on him. Well, a tunnel 40 may be too little too late for Walsh with Paul from on double eight to go three nil up here. I say so often when players are talking to you or analysing their game, they seem to always analyse the back end of the game. Oh, I missed doubles in the fifth leg, the sixth leg. You know, I should have won it. But most of the time, it is the doubles and, and the errors you make in them first three legs that can cost you the game because you're under pressure from there on in. And certainly a game like, as in Magnus Karras, the very first... Uh, game of the day when he missed the three clear darts at double top and the same here with Walsh I mean we know Walsh has got the class and the ability to get this back but if he loses it you've got to look at that first leg yes Magnus Karras beaten by the Irishman Glenn Spearing 6-2 in our opening match of the afternoon here at the German Darts Championship in Ildersheim Whoa! and there is another nice! maximum for Poulter and his third of this match he really is in Fantastic form here. And well, there we see that score in the first nine dart score and up to 113 is exceptional from Lee Polfman. 97 average. These, these last three legs, his scoring power has been absolutely exceptional. Of course, he is now on a high, and Mark Walsh has got to stop the rock. He's got to do something to upset the rhythm of this man, Lee Hoffman. 
He wants the bullseye for a 1-2-4 checkout for 4-0. That was so close. One four one. It won't happen now. So Paul Fulman will be back for twenty five. The four nil lead, and it's turning into a bit of a horror show for Mark Walsh at the moment tonight. Double twelve for four nil. I was actually surprised that Lee went that way because the double eight. I think it hit two out of three. The double twelve. He hadn't gone near that. I was really expecting the nine for double eight, but um, well, in that confident mood, any double, it doesn't matter. Oh. I have to laugh that, that Lee and Joey, they rip into each other, especially Joey and Lee. <laughs> A couple of good true scousers. <laughs> yes, Joey, slightly older than Lee. Another good visit from Paul Freeman. And down to a finish. Wolf failing to hit the big travel again. What Walsh is not doing is when Lee does hit a bad score, he's not punishing him for it. So he's not even getting anywhere near him and he's making it very easy for Wolfman to take the double out under no pressure. And, and that was a perfect example. So we'll look to mop this up to leave a decent uh, finish. It's a great last start there. With Walsh still back on 196. So double 16 to go to within one leg of victory. And a match up against Mark, uh, Mervyn King in tomorrow's second round. And it is 5 0 to Lee Paul Freeman now. Mark Walsh is probably thinking, I cannot believe this. Whoa. Lee Pogferman's hitting everything. And not, to be fair to Lee, he's not played that well on the tour for the last year or so. This is the best I've seen him play for a long while. And, you know, he's, he's taken the game off that first leg. He nicked the first leg. That gave him the confidence. Put Walsh on the back foot. And now his confidence is sky high. This is better from Walsh hitting those treble twenties. Well, a very long way back, especially if Polferman bangs in another ton 80, it's another ton 40. and can't take the 140 out now so Walsh comes back and can he get a leg on the board the double top not a bad guide don't want to miss it with this one now the pressure is on you can see it in his face 
Can he take it? And another double missed. So Pulferman steps up for the match and a 6-0 win, which would be incredible over Mark. Well, the O of the 10, this has got to go in. That's exactly what has happened. A brilliant display of darts by Lee Pulferman. He beats Mark Walsh, six left to nil. Coming up, Jamie Bain takes on Michael Smith. We'll be right back. Congratulations.